as you are now. Oh, yeah. so it's a, he's a mix between uh, Aizen and uh, Mihawk. In a mm-hmm. sense, yes. If you put those two together, fuse them, and make them three times as powerful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit overkill. Aizen was stupidly OP in manga. Oh, yeah. It was. Now After think about how evolution. stupidly OP Kissadin is. <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. Aizen, strength-wise, funnily enough, around that time, he'd be, like, what, level 8? 9? <laughs> uh, dep- depends how, many, how much power those stupid transformations gave me. That fucking butterfly is... Oh, my God. What oh, yeah, it's smoked, great. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just yeah. say, the an- animal-wise, uh, Kissin would wreck him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Penny. it might be a challenge if he went easy on him. <laughs> Anyway, but I guess it went all out right from the There's, start. Um, the one thing you do realize from the history role is you don't know much about him. You do know that he is called the strongest man in the world for a very good reason. All right. I'm glad he's on our side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, For now. I turn, turn to Thaddeus. So, you've been leading the way so far. Why don't you lead the way to the arsenal? Mm. Yes, please. Well, we're going to his camp, his castle. First to, the, first to the armory, then to the camp. I mean, what kind of adventure would we be if we didn't loot everywhere we went? <laughs> you know, actually good adventures. Good? <laughs> Kissadin will not leave Kissadin will not leave Elizabeth aside Thaddeus chuckles oh, oh, oh. Mm-hmm. So he's coming with us? For now, most likely yes Okay I, well, start I feel a lot safer now <laughs> oh. Now the question is, is should we feel safe or should we feel in quotes, safe. I mean, technically, as long as we keep uh, like uh, 50 meters away from Elizabeth, we should be safe. <laughs> <laughs> so Sayer starts hitting on Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, suddenly Sayer disappears. Nobody ever sees him again. <laughs> Sayer was uncreated. Who's Sayer? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I got killed so badly, nobody ever remembered me. No, there's <laughs> a cell called Uncreate. Yeah, I know. That's an actual thing. You can get killed so bad, Wait. you will remove yourself from history. Wait, so you can create those uh, uh, holes from Doctor Who? Yep. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Legit, I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even surprised anymore. <laughs> you can count to me, creepy smile. <laughs> Elizabeth just kind of is teary-eyed, but she does nod to your... um. Mention Akiko. She doesn't really seem. She seems more in shock. Yeah, obviously. But we'll get to that when she can be safe. First, protection from bodily harm, then uh, psychic counseling. Protection from mental harm, yeah. Yes. Let me just use my mental powers. And if you're okay. <clears throat> no, maybe not. Alright, perhaps we should uh, do less telling and uh, get a move on. Yes. Tardius takes front. Uh, I, Tardius, lead the way. Everyone else around Kissadin and um, Elizabetta. Does that sound good? All right. Sounds I'll perfect, take our, I'll take the rear because so uh, nobody creeps up on behind. I'll take the right. Oh, it's um, just shenanigans. Taddeus begins walking. He's walking completely in front, Kissadin only slightly behind him, um, as they to the walk of- towards the main door. Uh, Taddeus kind of holds his hand to uh, holds his hand to the door, and frowns lightly. Kissadin just kind of tilts his head slightly, holds out his hand to the door as well, and gives it a solid push. From the door itself, you hear this crack, and it slowly opens. 
Oh, it's uh, an outward opening door if you look at the inside. So, so, so we should have pulled. <laughs> Actually, we, right. did, we did no, try pulling. I did try pull. I know, I know. Okay. There's a very good reason why for him it's working. Yeah. So, did it like sealed shut? The strength. <laughs> <laughs> Taddeus, Only... nod, uh, Taddeus nods and says, Well, I'm not surprised that was put in place. He chuckles. Granted, though, even those protections can't really. Looks at Kissadin. Protect from him. He sighs. As he just starts, he starts, he holds Elizabeth a more bridal style rather than anything else and starts uh, running. Um, he starts running, uh, walks to the right at the end of the, uh, at the end of the entrance, and then eventually you guys reach another corridor. Oh no, a corridor. Yep. You guys reach another hallway. The well, same like, hallway? Uh, looks very much alike that because I was too lazy to find another picture, but yes, mm -hmm. think about this as mirrored, basically. All right. Mm -hmm. Um... The group finds this is a really good architect. I know. This is mm. uh, Death the Kid was actually their architect. Um, <laughs> so as the group gets, um, um, oh sorry, uh, as God, the group look at the symmetry. <laughs> that sounds about right. Um, he keeps on running, and at the end of this hallway, he opens a door to the right. Within it, you see a relatively small room, but to the left and the right, there's a variety of weaponry, weaponry and uh, armors that are lying around. Um, then, at the end, there's one more door. He looks at the group and says, well, if you need any kind of weapon, you can get it, get it here. It's just normal, nothing special, but we'll find something later. All right. Um, <laughs> depends on your wear armor skill, which is dependent on your strength. Uh, some armors don't give. Uh, some armors like um, armored long coats, leather, uh, yeah, leather long some coats, certain leather, leather don't give uh, penalties, whereas the larger and heavier ones do. So I think, going by Ron's suggestion, that the armor that I should want, if any. It would be armored long coat, was it? Uh, either padded. If you go to the main book, uh, page 77 of the PDF or page 76 of the book itself, you can look. Uh, there's armor protection values and uh, the armors themselves with their requirement. The, uh, what's your strength? Uh, if it's 9, then you have a plus 10. 10, so your wear armor would be considered 10. So you can wear without penalty up to complete leather. You would still get a movement restriction, though. Yes. Mm. You will all, the movement restriction only passes if you're, like, times 4 over the requirement. No, a 50 plus the requirement. That's mm -hmm. one movement restriction. So if you have 60 armor requirement, there's no movement restriction for complete leather. Mm -hmm. uh, but as long as you have the... One, then you should be fine. I'll be looking for armored long coat then, like very light, light armor. Yes, they, mm. uh, there are in fact armored long coats hanging by the side. Um, basically, for any kind of armor that you want, you can get up to breastplates here. Hmm. No, no, I'm All going right. for very, something very light. Uh, I will also take an armored long coat. Can <laughs> I, uh, what kind of uh, armor can I get with a strength of nine? Uh, you can get up to complete leather. Yeah. Complete leather. But complete yeah, leather will have a movement restriction of one. You won't like you have. What's your movement? You'll, you'll be right going now. even slower. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, second letter advantages. Just grab a leather or a padded. Mm. What quality is it? Plus zero. zero. Okay, making sure. Mm. I just don't want to get anything wrong. plus 50! No. <laughs> <laughs> right, do I put it on first layer or...? First layer, uh, first layer yes. Right. Mm. The thing is, you can combine hard and soft armors. Um, you can o overlap a hard piece of armor with a soft piece of armor. Uh, if you have uh, it 
always the hard cannot overlap a hard, another hard and will always be in the first layer. Um, if you put something on the lower layers, so second layer, so let's say you put, uh, hey, you have complete leather and you have a breastplate. You can do that. Uh, the both of the armor requirements will stack with each other, but the um, you still get a plus one bonus from the uh, complete leather, or at least for some things. Um, essentially, it's like this. If you stack armor, the lowest armor's uh, bonus gets reduced by half, so if it's four, it becomes two. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite useful, and you take a minus 20 na natural armor penalty that you can't reduce. And their armor requirement stack. But if you have enough armor requirement, it's just the minus 20. So it's not, it's kind of good. Yes. Mm. So I should that get the armored long coat. Okay. We're going to be the long coat party. So it's a question. <laughs> yes. Is uh, there any hardened leather? Yes. There is. My size. <laughs> um, how large are you? 6'6. Six, six. So six and a half feet. There is uh, something close to it, but you're going to have to uh, find someone who can rework it um, slightly. Mm -hmm. There is some, there's that? one that's, that's capable of fitting a 6'3 person. Yeah, yeah I, I'm 6'5. Do, does the long coat fit fine? Uh, the long coat is slightly short. It's slightly short for you, and it's, it's tight. It's tight. It's not really very comfortable, but it it'll work for now. <laughs> All right. I, I I roughly shrugged in my tight jacket. Hopefully, yeah, there's, just a, there's a ripping noise from your back. <laughs> yeah. As you do. Yes, I just I just chuck it on the ground then. Okay. I'm chuck it. I, I don't wear armor then. Okay. Uh, what kind of uh, weapons are there? Um, weapon-wise, uh, if there's anything there, uh, as I go to find it, basically most of the things, and I say most of the things, in the core book are there. Um, most of them in the sense that there is some, like a katana, you won't be able to find there. Um, so it's no more... matchlock pistols? No, there's no pistols here. Guns are rare. I right. could use, like, crossbows. Uh, they're rather similar in... There's even a ballista in the corner, but it looks very <laughs> good. Yes, you could definitely restock arrows. There's actually quite a few. Uh, there's just an entire basket filled with arrows. All in total, there seem to be about 50 of them. Yep. Just a question. Uh, Can Sayer find any regal-looking staff or something like that? Uh, give me a search. Oh, fuck me. As he's oh, well. looking for that, oh. how many arrows can you fit into single quiver? 20. I'm looking at the core book at what the... at the common uh, weapon section. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I can get a lasso. Yep. And do they have any full shields? Or shields? Um... Full shields? They have normal shields, not full shields. Okay. Alright, so I guess I'll take a lasso and uh, two short swords. Okay. Does so Sayer yes. find anything with a 63? <laughs> um, you look around, you find, stat you find staves, but they are more quarter staves and not really particularly royal looking. Ah. Fuck this shit. Mm. Taddeus, as you guys are searching and finding your own stuff, goes into the back room, uh, setting down Elizabeth next to him. Closes the door behind him as well. Do we hear any weird noises? Mm. Oh my. Um, you hear some clanking of glass. Mm. Okay. Yeah, out of character, maybe he's getting a healing potion. Or... or, or Alcohol. <laughs> that works too. Man, I need vodka. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a shield. I have a long sword. Okay. okay. That's what I'll do. Let's see. 
Okay. Uh, is there a long spear? Yes, there is. I will grab the long spear. Okay. Uh, it's classified in the book under lance. Okay. I, I, I plan on more using it to try to keep things away from me than <laughs> anything. Yep. Mm. Seems and say you're, hmm. valid. Yeah. Sayer still has no weapon. Because what the fuck would I use it for? <laughs> What's your, your weapon? mind is your weapon. <laughs> I haven't actually <laughs> chosen anything. <laughs> I was like, hey, what the fuck would I use a weapon for? But I'd probably take a staff or something like that. Uh, yes, my mind is the finest weapon in here. <laughs> what about mine? You know, you know that rusty old fork you can find something? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, eventually, uh, eventually, Taddeus comes out, having two bags uh, slung over his shoulder. They seem to be backpacks of sorts. Um, one seems to be uh, uh, clanking with uh, sound of glass kind of clanking against each other, but it's very light, as if they're, uh, the glasses themselves are being relatively protected. And, um, oh, sorry. Uh, as if they're relatively protected, and the other makes barely any sound at all. How much gold did you okay. grab? <laughs> gold I haven't grabbed at all, but he kind of holds, a, holds out the backpack with the glasses and he opens it inside there's as far as you can see six different or six files four of which are the same two of which are different mm -hmm. um, he pulls out the first vial it's uh, not overly large it's about the size of your hand and he said oh sorry and he says these ones are well first off don't let anyone see you with these. I'm going to give you them these just for the sake of this, because I do have something I want to ask of you guys, but that's for a later moment, after resting. But I'm going to give you these now anyway. This one, he holds it out, and it's uh, a slightly crooked vial um, with a very clear blue liquid inside of it. And he holds it out. Uh, these are called Levan. They are... When imbibed, your body starts to mend itself. Not overly fast, but it takes a lot of the edge off, and we tend to use these just in case we have to, or to save a life. And he holds it out. Um, I have four of these. We were running out ourselves, and they're difficult to make. But would be a good thing to take them. Watch out, however. If you take more than two doses of within one hour, or even more than three within 24, well, it becomes a poison rather than an aid. Thanks for the advice, no, Sayer holds out his hand, and like, if he wants to give it to him. Uh, yes, Keep. he gives you one of the potions. Mm -hmm. Keep mine for now. It's better hidden in a backpack than with me. Like I'm the question is I, 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 I nod. Yes, I'll be hold I'll be handing the backpack off to you guys. Mm. Anyway, just a question. Did he give us four or how many did he you give us? You have four of these. Okay. They're Levan potions of life. If you want their statistics, when imbibed, uh when it, when imbibed he gained the character in question gains a regeneration of sixteen for the next five combat turns. So that's you, ten health. A turn. Yes, 10 health a turn for 5 turns. If you take mm. anything less than a full dose, you have uh, the time is diminished by 2 combat turns. But you still count as having imbibed a full dose. Mm. Um, if a character takes more than 2 doses, doses in less than 1 hour, or more than 3 in 24 hours, the potion becomes toxic. It no longer increases the user's regeneration, and the character must pass a venom resistance or suffer from pain for a number of hours equal to his degree of failure. Hmm. Ouch. Yep. He holds out another one. 
uh, he holds out another one. This is a very light vial, but it's relatively lengthy. If you look at your hand, if you take your middle finger all the way to the palm of your hand, the center palm of your hand, that's about how long it is and as well how thin it is. It is filled with a bright green liquid. It says, this is rare. Very useful. They're called nil. They're antidotes. In case you're poisoned, they function as pretty much a po an antidote to anything, but you only have one. So watch out for that. Mm -hmm. You can buy. You can take this before. Uh, you can take this before uh, fighting anything that might have any poison, or might be able to poison you, and it'll give you a bit of a, a strength increase against that. You will be able to shrug off poisons more easily. However, if you are poisoned and you take this, most poisons should be gone after taking this. However, don't take these daily. Granted, you only have one, but I'm warning you now in case you ever get more. If you take these daily, they'll become a lot less useful. Okay, he holds it out. Mm. I take that one too because I'm a greedy bastard. Mm. Remind, well, we're remind me to put down Sayer. If, yeah. What did you say? We're leaving him in we're the backpack. We're leaving him in the backpack. Ah, I He's didn't. I told you. Yeah, do, do, I'd do, give do, back do the you one have I anything to carry them in that's yes. not visible? Ah, sorry. Yeah. I, I essentially thought he was giving them to us, but you know, I wasn't. Yes, yes. He's giving them to us in a backpack. What I meant was, I thought he was giving them to us and used the backpack for something else. But no matter, I'd give them back in that case. Mm. Then he holds out. Then he holds out another potion. This potion looks extremely blood red. It is stuck in a golden vial that is about the size of your hand as well. Uh, they fit perfectly in your palm. He grits his teeth slightly as he looks at it and then looks at the group. These ones, you only have one, but they're dangerous. Only use these when you have absolutely no other choice. This one is called Kiyama, also known as blood, monster blood. What this does, well, if you take it, your strength will, your combat capacity will increase pretty damn well. Problem is, at least for quite a while, generally lasting for about an entire day. Problem is, these things can have incredibly bad side effects. So don't use them, at least not if, unless you have another choice. What's its name, did you say? Kiyama. Hmm. Uh, Q-I-Y-A-M-H. It's much easier to just write it down, you know? Yes. <laughs> Which is why um, I'm going to give you the name of this one. That's that one. Oh. There is Levon, the Potion of Life. You have four of these. And Nil, also known as the Absolute Antidote. You have one of those as well. What one, Nil four, does, one. Got it. Yes. Uh, what Nil does, it's Antidote. If taken after being poisoned, Null, uh, null functions as a generic level 80 Antidote that affects both natural and magical substances. Prevention. If taken before ingesting a harmful substance, Nil gives the imbiber a plus 80 bonus to his venom resist, which wears off at a rate of minus 10 per hour. However, if you take these over a long period of time, uh, the effects of Nil, rece uh, nil rec uh, cease to be as effective, reducing the venom resistance bonus by minus 10 for each subsequent day. Hmm. Kiyama is... An extremely potent combat drug. It must be ingested for this potion to take effect. Kiyama adds plus two to a character's strength, dexterity, agility, and perception characteristics, as well as a plus 20 to initiative, and allows the imbiber to take uh, actions of inhuman difficulty. The duration varies, but is usually between 10 to 12 hours. 
It is, however, highly toxic and can have negative side effects up to and including death. It is especially dangerous for those who use it over long periods of time, as it saturates the body and eats away at its user's defenses. Anyone who takes this poison must make a venom resistance check or suffer as pain for a number of hours equal to his degree of failure. If he fails the check by more than 40 points, the character collapses and dies immediately. If a character has not gone more than a month since his last dose, the difficulty level of the check increases by a cum cumulative plus 10. The value decreases at a rate of 5 points per year as the drug remains in the bloodstream for long periods of time. Hmm. The base check, by the way, for anyone looking them up in the books, are different. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. What's sad mm. is I already know the checks by heart, so I, yep. can't, I don't need to. <laughs> well, they are different, just saying. Yeah, no, I figured. Mm -hmm. um, Your heart so, is wrong, Ronald. Um, <coughs> for Levon, the Potion of Life, this is practically what it does. I'll just give a description for those that are writing, writing along. Uh, these are just the positive effects. The negative ones, you'll have to f f uh, remember yourself. How much is a certain do uh, How much is a dose? The whole thing. A dose thing. is uh, depends. Generally, it's a whole. It's the whole thing. For Levon, you can split it up into two. However, if you do, the healing time is diminished by two t uh, combat turns, and you are still counted as having imbibed a full dose for the purposes of determining. Uh, intoxication and dying and pain and all that. Yeah. yeah. All that fun stuff. Uh, this is what Nil does. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Kiyama. 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 I actually like the whole hey, it's a healing potion, but if you use it too much, it starts to kill you. Yep. I actually think that's like better than your default healing potion. Yep. Hey, it's fun stuff. It kind of reminds me of the story I heard that there was some rule in the first or second edition that if you mixed one potion after another in D and D, then your character could explode. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I I like where things are not only positive but they come with a cost. One thing in the original D and Ds was overhealing and causing the opponents to explode violently. Yep. That's great. I Ike has cure critical wounds on this enemy we haven't hurt yet. <laughs> I heal him by 50 health points. He has to make a decent fortitude save. Yeah, that's what, uh, in Pathfinder, that's what the uh, uh, positive, uh, pol positive energy elementals do. Mm -hmm. They, like, overheal you. If you, get, if you heal more than half your uh, health in health from those things, you explode. Or have a chance to explode. Okay. Mm -hmm. I obviously am not that Akiko is not that interested in the potions because for now she's feeling kind of okay, and she knows there will be others who will need it more. I cough up blood. Mm, we, don't, we ignore <laughs> you. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. He then opens the other. Uh, he then opens the other, um, the other backpack, and within it. There is, as far as you can see, there's a slab. A small slab of stone. Who has <laughs> C-Supernatural? Uh, hang on, I think I, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Don't, um, don't I do because of the gift? Yes, you do. I forget. That's, uh, you, you can magic. see magic, but not okay. the supernatural. Okay. Like, we see, we are allowed to see matrices and spirits, where you only see magic. Okay. Mm-hmm. He holds it. He picks up the slab, and it's you, he, it's large enough that he has to uh, hold it in two hands. It seems to be about uh, for Ron. It seems to be about uh, a three foot long slab of stone. As he holds it up, you, you and Sayer both see this faint supernatural quality within it. Not Sayer, Donald. We see five. God damn it. Sorry, Donald. <laughs> Um, we, we see five commandments on them. Mm -hmm. um, he holds it out, and he says, now this, well, 
this is a slab. It's a normal slab of stone, as far as you can see. But for anyone who's capable of using the essence within, this can be so much more. What this has, this holds the soul of a creature. You can, if anyone is capable of extracting this soul, <coughs> certain magical items can be created from it. It's called essence, what's within here. Mm. Do you have any plans for it, or do you simply plan to sell it? plan on giving it to you guys, considering I have quite a bit of things to ask of you. But right now, mm. let's get to one of the safe houses. Okay. Alright, uh, guess, guess I'll take care of these lads in the meanwhile. Okay. Yeah, he holds we'll out leave it the... Uh, <coughs> he, holds out the he holds out both bags. That so looks heavy. Mm-hmm. Who, who can, can, can I carry, carry it? Slab? It's a 10 pound slab. Oh, okay, that's easy then. Where, I'll grab the potion. Hang on, where mm -hmm. is the inventory on the character sheet? There is none. Oh. Nope. There is. Uh, if you want, I can actually make for everyone a separate, separate uh, handout for inventories. Alright, thanks. The only inventory that would be considered on the sheet would be the bio info. Yep. And, you and that's your... it. Mm -hmm. But I'll be right back going to turn on the heat. I'm cold. Four, five. Yeah, mm -hmm. And I'm kind of hungry. Can I make myself a sandwich? Sure. Of course. You're supposed so, to stay here. Are we making a short break? or? Uh, sure. If you guys right. want. I'll, I'll be busy making some inventory. All right. yep. so, so, Martin... I'm assume I might be wrong, but I'm assuming the whole thing where opening my mouth and closing it was me realizing that my character has changed. 